Hello, I'm Fred, and I'm a first year manager of Lipa and a film nerd. I'm going to talk about. Do we get air? <laughs> this is not funny, he died last year, so it's a tribute. So, yeah. Um, that's the next slide there. Yeah? Alright, I'm not, not a good timer, but this is John Hughes. Yeah. It's not John Hughes, is it? This is a tribute to John Hughes. He's a great director. He's, uh, he died last year. And I'm gonna on this slide it's gonna be a bunch of his movies coming up and you want you probably recognize. And the reason for uh, choosing John Hughes is I wanna put on a stage production of The Breakfast Club at Lipa. And the reason for that is that his uh, his work is like that man his movies has meant a lot to me, as I I would say he's the best director in this genre and yeah this is going really fast so yeah <laughs> all right and um the reason is that just give me a second yeah, this is Ferris Bueller right here and you might recognize he wrote both of the Home Alone movies or the third one, but I don't want to talk about that, it's a shit. <laughs> but, this is uh, Michael Culkin, he had a tribute on this year's uh, Oscar, at, um, where all the old actors that are kind of disappeared and then nowhere after, after working, but all, they were at their all time high working with John Hughes. And um, it's kind of important to um, He's kind of, he kind of saw something in them that they didn't see it for themselves because they were really young actors and actresses. And um, he kind of had, and he said that he's always had like a, a child in him that he wanted to like, he always respected younger people. He doesn't, he didn't see them as others than adults. And um, and why I want to put on um, the production of Lipa is because of all these different characters. We have a sportsman here. He's a typical high school uh, macho guy. And uh, next up, I think we have the, the criminal. Or the bad, yeah, the bad boy. And uh, I think he still is actually. Not, not in movies, but in real life. Uh, <laughs> but um, I think it's good to set it in a school, because Lipa is, as you know, a university. And we have a princess. Or the, the cute girl that, that it's not like, yeah, it's kind of, you know, um, try to, or uh, it being a little tougher after they're in detention that day. And then it's the brain, as you can see on the picture with this. He's the math genius, but then all these characters come together and kind of create, um, they kind of uh, come together, they're very, very different. And we have the weird girl there. Um, and uh, it's kind of, it's an amazing story because um, it's kind of develops, it starts, they have to write an essay, but it, and that's the principle, <laughs> and they have to write an essay and no one does it, they just uh, do whatever they can to not write, but they kind of write it all together uh, in the end, and it kind of, it's a nice story, and, uh, and this is a picture from the, from the place that uh, I'm gonna sit the whole Saturday, and the criminal gets uh, eight more detentions during that time, something like that. And uh, the Breakfast Club will be a really good production, at least I think. And I will be happy to get inputs on how to get it done, or if anyone <laughs> is interested in talking about that. And and last up, we have. This is criminal again. I like that character. He's a, he's kind of he looks tough, but he's not. He's kind of soft on the inside. And um, John Hughes often used uh, freeze in images in the end, and uh, this is one of them. And the famous song from uh, Simple Minds, "Don't You Forget About Me," and that fits with John Hughes. Don't you forget about him. So thank you.